Hello, what's up guys? This is KZ Yoshi. Welcome back. And today finally we have a chance to review Persona 4's official design works. I'm really excited about this. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited about this. I said it again just to make sure. And first, as always, I need to unwrap this thing. This is brand new. So, yep, yep. Just find an opening. And slowly open the thing. Careful, you don't want to spoil this thing. I don't want to spoil this thing. Oops, oops. Uh -oh. There you go. So the cover is a bit similar to what we have in Persona 3 design artwork. It has that um, coarse cover, shiny. So we look at the sides. Let me just try to get a good focus here. Yeah. Look at the back, official design works. So if you want to compare it with Persona 3, I can just simply grab one from my cupboard and voila, Persona 3 and 4. Since they're from the same publisher, so yeah, from Udon Entertainment, so they are almost the same, but they smell different. Oh my gosh, is this the damage? Oh my gosh, here's a bit damage. <sighs> anyway, yeah, let's just start flipping already. I think we gotta catch up. Damn it. Wait, let me just refocus, readjust the focus. Right. First page. Nothing different. Persona all over. Mayonaka Terebi. Woo! Hey, ow, ow, ouch. So we have uh, Yukiko in. No, this is not Yukiko. This is the, the analyzer. The analyst. Gosh, forgot his name. forgot her name. Um. Misa? No. Amane? No. I don't know. Um, yeah. So we have Chie here in the Yukata. Yeah, here's Amagi. Yukiko Amagi. This is gonna be pretty rough to flip through because it's made out of hard papers. Really, really hard papers. High quality stuff. Seriously hard quality stuff. Then here we have some Persona. I think the zoom is getting closer again. Let me just try to zoom. Yep. Then, after a few concept photos in the front, we finally jump into the main character, chapter one, main character. So we have the protagonist. Yujinko, which you can name him whatever you want, was tentatively named uh, Yu in the anime. Izanagi, his persona. Izanagi no Okami, his persona upgraded. So here are some fine works, fine artworks. Yosuke Hanamura. Not as detailed as the Persona 3 design artworks, but gotta give it to them, they're still giving a lot of details, you know. Then we have Susano and Jiraiya, both of his Persona, Wind Elemental. And here's some initial design, some author side notes. 
Here's another Jiraiya and Susano concept arts. Chie Satonaka. The high flying kicker. Oh, just flip it real fast. Tomoe Suzuka Gangen. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the names right, but I'm just pronouncing it Bimp. Anything I saw, I pronounce. Nothing's wrong, nothing's right. After that, we have Yukiko Amagi, Snow Princess. Really nice artworks right there. Konohana Sakuya, Amaterasu. It's called Amaterasu. I didn't really notice it when I played the game. Goes to say how um, how rush I am throughout the game. Oh yeah, Persona 5 I haven't finished this, so that, that's the reason why I didn't know there's an Amaterasu. Some initial designs, kanji, that's me. So I was hoping that we have some characters like um, Romaji, uh, Katakana, Hiragana. I don't know, you're always just joking. <laughs> kanji, alright. Kanji crossplay. It was some wacky moments in Persona 4 and it's really awesome. I really want to play this game. I really want to finish it. Never got the chance to, but anyway. <sighs> Teddy! Cute Teddy! Monokuma. No, Monokuma is from Danganronpa. Sorry. <laughs> so we have an evil Teddy. What's inside of Teddy? It's actually a human. So here's Teddy's uh, persona. Whoa! It was so unfair. The other character has got a two pitch persona and he got a one. I mean, he got one in for two pages. The others just shared. Kentucky Doji, maybe because it's big. Kamui! Look at that cute face. Damn! Here's some sketches, some sketches, some sketches all over. Rise, yeah. Her name's Rise. Damn. Rise Kujikawa. Cutest ever. Evil Rise. Actually, it's just the other side of Rise, which is evil. So, yeah. Himiko Kanzion. And we have some other illustrations. Some early ideas for Rise. Actually, it's quite good. It looks kind of Persona 3 ish, though. Although both of them are from the same author, so there's no surprise that it's from. It kind of looks similar. Naoto Shirogane. A young. Girl detective, yeah. Ta -da. I'm really gonna spend time with this book. So one of those collections for that have persona freaks. Whoa. Naoto was originally a guy, then they changed it to be a bit feminine and. I think they overdo the feminine part and she become a girl instead. Nanako! Nanako-chan! This is the character's um, niece. Yeah, the main character's niece. Ryotaro Dojima. The main character's uncle. Let's flip through real fast, real fast. Four. Just look at this page. This page right here is a bringer of memories. Awesome! Alright, then we have to jump into sub characters. First, we have ourselves Margaret. Oh, Margaret's initial design. This is awesome. This one looks cool. This one's not Margaret. This one's the sister, Elizabeth. Fox, Daisuke Nagase. So each character have their own um, persona, the traits, the traits, 
the cut the tarot cuts they represent. Which is kinda cool. It just reminds you that they are of different arcanas. Which arcana they are from. Just in case you've forgotten, they're here to remind you. I Ebihara. There's so many vibrant characters in this series and this is really a fun game to play and I really encourage everyone to play this game. I actually and introduce this game to every one of my friends, every gamer friends I had. Because it's just that good, yeah. It's so full of colors. Mm, yep, that's the end of sub characters. Then we have some shadow action. Some bad guys. Shadow Yukiko, Shadow Kanji, Shadow Rise, Shadow Teddy, Shadow Mitsuo, the Lego, the the mini boss. Shadow, 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 shadow. Because I'm shadow now. No, that's just beast. I was just trying to make a fool of myself. Inazami. So this is the final boss. The final, final boss. Just look at all those creepy hands and legs. Legs, yeah, legs. Floor shadow, some normal shadows, or the nook shadows. And we even have a DNA man here. Is it? Yeah. Miss Jean, Fail Jean, Happy Jean, Next Jean. Uh, names. Just names. Then we have Chapter 4, which is some extra extra ingredients. Uniform design ideas. Um, marketing illustration and design ideas. So this is the initial bikini design of say opening sequence. The design of opening sequence. There are some seriously incredible opening sequence inside a TV where all the things happen. Mayonaka Terebi, yeah, that's what I call it. Background art, just look at it, awesome. Yasogami High School, this is your high school, central shopping district. Gosh, I can still remember all those teams when you, the teams that play when you're in that background. So we have um interview with Shigenari Soejima. Da -da 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 -da. Not interested. Yep, that's the end of it. And yeah. Too bad. We are end with Persona's official art bowl. So if you guys are a big fan of Persona 4, this is really a good buy. For me at least, you know. Just look at all them lot of colorful artworks. And look at the paper quality, it's very high quality. This is some high quality stuff. Minus damage. Let's just not care about that. Anyway, yeah, that's the end of my video reviewing for Persona 4 official design works. See you guys again next time. Bye.